What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're here with Ari, Shadowheart, Astarian, and Karlak. We are still inside the Goblin camp, thinking of ways to take out these last two leaders. We have Minthora, and then we have Drow Ragzin. We already dealt with Gut, and, well, we just need to do the rest. <laughs> it seems like a simple task, but I don't really think it is. I think... Before we do this, I want to take the chance to long rest. Because we've been going at it for quite a while and we haven't long rested. I'm going to check in on a Halzen after we long rest. Yes, we already rescued Halzen for what it's worth so far. I think, well, we did rescue him, but he's just down there chilling. I don't really want to bring Halzen up here because he's probably going to kill. He's not going to do things the way we want to do him. Because I at least want to knock out this Menthara. And, well, I guess at this point, we can pretty much just take out the goblins. I mean, I think when Halzen comes up here, I'm going to bring him up here probably for the Drow Ragzen fight. Just to see what happens. And we're going to probably end up killing them all anyway, I'd imagine. But is, if there's kids and stuff like that, we're just going to knock them out. Because I don't think I can just, I don't think I can do it. Anyways, let's go back to camp. I think we should, holy hell... Look at all them supplies we have. 1,751 over 80. Whoa. <laughs> That's so much supplies. I guess it's coming in handy. Whoa, there's all types of quests. The Wizard of Waterdeep. You? Wait, what's, what's that one? Gale's condition has deteriorated once more. He requires us to procure him a third magical item. We have Volo here, friends. Where is... Where's the owlbear? Is the owlbear here? I'm happy we came back to camp because now we, we have two quests here. Let's talk to Gale. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon... We haven't ignored you, Gail. Not whatsoever, not once. Is it because that I haven't been to camp in a while? <laughs> Is that what's going on here? Give Gail magic artifact, persuade. I can't help just now. Bear with me, please. Yeah, but... We haven't been to camp for a while, but still... We haven't ignored it. Every time we've talked to Gail, we've always given him something. Well, okay. Right here, have this. What are we going to give Gale? No, absolutely not. Who has a piece of junk that we can just give him? Hey, Will. Astorian's got the Ritual Axe. Spell Thief. We can give him Spell Thief. I don't think Astorian's using it anymore. I don't think anyone's using it anymore. If anything, fucking hell, friends. Seriously, though. Now that I see this item here, we should have took the bow. No one's going to use this trident anymore. Ari's not going to use it. Karlak, this is just better. Not the doom hammer. This one, the one where she jumps, is just better. We should have took the bow because the bow would have been at least... Well, the person with the bow probably could have used it for so long. The ever see an eye. Protection against good and evil? No. Where didn't we get that? Poisoner's robe. We have this poisoner's robe on us. This is. Let's give him this, the poisoner's robe, sure. Thank you. You good, Gil? Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mistra, have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on. You're among friends. There's no need. I trust you, Gail. I do trust him, but if he wants to speak to us, let's just have him speak to us. Go on. You're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. 
You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Did I just... Did I just... <laughs> did I really just have him eat his own robe? <laughs> I was wondering where I got that from. I'm like, when, when did I have this in my inventory? So... <laughs> Gail's items are in Ari's inventory, kind of. <laughs> Fucking hell, Gail. You don't have any armor now, friend. <laughs> He's in his birthday suit. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Bold. You would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse? I don't believe a word you're saying. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. <laughs> I just can't. This is just so funny. <laughs> Ari goes, you want something to eat? You eat your own fucking clothes, Gail. All right? <laughs> I gave you these clothes about three months ago. You're going to fucking eat them now. <laughs> Who cares about washing? You just eat. <laughs> How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? You thought you were better than Mishra? You're more a fool than I thought. I applaud your ambition. How exactly did you cross those boundaries, though? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? You know, that's an interesting thing, Gail. It's funny because that's kind of like how the world works, right? You have this person that you're with, right? But you don't feel like you're worthy of that person. You feel like she or he is so much better than you. And you keep trying to prove yourself. And then you almost make things worse, in a sense. You gotta understand that if you're with somebody, you already shared the bed with that with that person. That person is in it for you, for who you are already. You don't need to change. You don't need to go to these drastic matters that make things worse, right? It happens, I'm sure, almost every day, I'd imagine. But I'm intrigued. Tell me all about it, Gil. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? 
It's an ambition. It surely is. <laughs> it seems like... That's a pretty serious thing to do, Yogyo. A lot of power to do something like that. What was the answer to that question, though? I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether, then? So your grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. Brilliant. Yeah, but what was the answer to the question? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. <laughs> Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Holy hell, I yank your hand away? How are you still alive? Gods, why show me this? All this time I've been traveling with a monster? Yank your hand away? How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You will die. I don't think I want to hear this. Well, you will die if it if you if it weren't fully stabilized, I'd imagine. Go on. So let me get this straight. He tried to bring back parts of the goddess that was gone, in a sense. And in so and, and until when he opened this book. Because it, it was just powerful magics, this, that, and the other, what this book was for. It ended up devouring him in a sense. And now he has it inside of him. And if he don't contain it, it really legitimately will devour him and probably end up devouring the world. In a way, right? Shit. That's, that's the best way to say it. Well, shit. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Yeah, but what made you think that this book could bring it back? What she was missing? Is there nothing we can do? I trusted you, Gail. You should have told me right away. Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? Well, if you think about it, wow. Holy shit. What if the tadpole does get a hold of him? Get the better of him, really? By rights, I should kill you. There has to be something we can do, Gale, right? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. No, you're not leaving. We've come this far together, we'll continue on together. That's how it will be. I think, yeah, well, we're going to continue, but if we part ways, where would you go? Interesting. I am curious to see where he would go. You pose too grave a threat. This is goodbye, Gale. No. I think we've come too far, and we're in this together, so we stay together. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. 
from all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. All right. A word of advice, never give Gale a book. <laughs> Fucking hell, he ate his own armor, friends. Shit. You got any more armor you can wear, Gale? You can wear this medium chain, he fucking sure can. It don't look as good as Spock armor, Gale. You don't ate- Oh, he's not proficient with it. Son of a biscuit. Uncommon medium. He can't do medium. Oh, it, it shows that Ari's proficient in it, not Gale. Careful, I mind. Listen up here, Gale. I don't know if I have light armor for you. Rare light armor right here. We sure do. Send this to Gale. Hopefully he doesn't eat it. Off his backside again. Rare medium. Rare light. Here we go. That armor is actually really nice, Gale. It looks really good, to be honest. I mean, Spock armor looked better. But this armor looks pretty awesome, too. What in the hell, friends? Talk about a crazy story for Gale, right? He loved this goddess so much, he wanted to, uh, he just thought that he wasn't good enough for her. But in the, in the same aspect, you were good enough for her, and that's what she wanted. But he tried to do more, and he tried to bring something back that she lost, basically. If that's what I'm understanding is correct. Press ahead. And, well, kind of didn't work. Let's talk to him again. How can I help? Gail, that looks really great. I was wondering about that muddy lord you told me about in your story. Always talking about itself. If you ever feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? Yeah. If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Yeah, but you really think that thing inside you is going to let you kill yourself? Unless killing yourself releases whatever is in there. The magic. I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about, yeah. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable, to be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So at the moment in time, all magic was gone. Nothing good ever comes from mortals wanting to be gods. You have to admire the man's ambition. He very nearly succeeded. I guess he really did. Succeed, like, but you are saying that in that moment, all magic was gone? For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. It 
tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Yeah, but is he the person that he's talking about here? He said Gale's folly. Is he Carsus? I tried to follow in the footsteps of Carsus, but is he Carsus? Instead of... I'm not asking because I, I don't want I don't want to know, but I'm just speaking out loud here. I wonder if he's Carsus because he just said Gale's Folly. And maybe he just took the name Gale. As in because you said Gale's Folly, like he's the one that fucked up. Join me, why don't you? There's plenty no. Let's not That's fucking interesting, Gale. I I think what the hell this story's gonna be tragic, is it? Huh? Anything else? What's on your mind? What in the hell is going on, friends? <laughs> what in the world is going on? I'm gonna talk to... Let's talk to Vola. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares? Yeah, Volo, what do you know about mind flares? Well, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Didn't we steal that? I found one of them. And they're parasites. Do you know anything about them? I found one of them. Here. On the Sword Coast. Impossible. Poppycock. <laughs> Not only have I encountered a Mind Flayer, I killed one, too. Oh, well, pretty crazy, huh? A Mind Flayer planted one of their larvae in my brain? Yeah, I killed that, one. That can't be. I was captured by Mind Flayers before. I'm lucky to be alive. I killed a Mind Flayer in its lair aboard the Nautiloid. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? I have, and the Mind Flayer infected me with a parasite. Malaise is one word for it, more like psychic transference? No, I haven't noticed anything like that. I have. Mind Flayer infected me with a parasite. Should we just tell him that we're infected? Yeah, we're we're pretty infected here. That's quite Hello. impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Ceramorphosis? Tell me more. If only your disbelief could alter facts. I wish it could, Volo. But yeah, tell me more. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a Mind Flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. Not yet, anyways, but we have. If only your disbelief could alter facts, sure. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Examine me, find out for yourself. Of course, utterly ridiculous. Doubts aside, you should keep your distance from me. Examine me yourself, really? We're gonna have him examine us? Of course, utter ridiculous. <laughs> We're gonna have Volo examine us? Sure, examine me. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. Oh no. This is not gonna be good, is it? If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly. Oh, my dear sweet gods! <laughs> Quit the shouting, can you help? I wanna get rid of this thing, any means. No, I don't, you know. I think Halsen found a way, Volo. Quit shouting, can you help? I mean, yes. 
I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Rescue Bolo. Bolo decides to remain in your camp, having such a learned scholar nearby might be useful. He gave us Lazir, Lazir of Benevolence, which is light armor. We can give us the... Wait, no way, man. This is it's a bard outfit. Remedial Rhyme is when you inspire an ally using Bard against Ration, you gain four temporary hit points. Oh my word, that is so good. Remember the one time when I said, hey, Volo, you should give me one of your outfits because they look pretty bardish. Well, he gave us an outfit that looks pretty bardish. Problem is, oh man, it's so cool looking too. It looks so good, but it's such worse. And what we have, and the problem is we don't even use Bardic Inspiration, unfortunately. We don't put it on allies, friends, we just don't. We can try the theory. We can Bardic Inspiration people, right? And then... We could... I mean, 16 is not bad. Oh, that's that one. Yeah, 16's not bad. What is this one? This one's 15 basic. Let's equip it. It's, it goes to 19. 16 to 19. That's not a little bit. That's kind of a lot. I feel like this is more for a caster bard. Like the lore bard, maybe? And not sword bard? It's such a good jester, though. I'm gonna keep it on us. It's only nine. It's gonna be over encumbered like hell. Just keep it on us. Maybe we keep it on us, right? And then we buff people up with this. And then we take it off and put this back on. Because if you think about it, this is only really useful when we use that. Besides the fact that it looks pretty awesome. Look at it, though. If we just change the color to something. I got a shit ton of dye, friends. So much dye. Change the color to black. Let's change it to black. See what happens. Oh, it's black and red. That looks so good. It looks so good now. If we change the gloves and the boots. Where was that one at? Black and furnace red. It was this one. Let's use combine. Let's put the boots in there now. Frilly boots looking good. Missile snare and gloves, sure. Let's do. Wait, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We're just moving. Combine. Let's put the gloves in there. Oh yes. You cannot deny how amazing this armor looks. I'm happy the cloak is just black now, which is good. We can sacrifice the cloak. Black and red. We have one more of this left. Let's... Man, we can... Yeah, but what happens if we put this one back on? To be fair, it looks great even... We don't even have to do anything with this one. God, this armor's so good. It's so cool looking. Let's use... One more. And we'll combine the cloak. Maybe it changes... It's already, like, black-ish. Oh, it makes it red. I do like the red cloak better. Runs you, damn it, it looks so awesome. <laughs> I wanna keep it on us all the time now. Look at the neck, around the neck, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, you look like a fucking badass, my friend. Well, we're gonna keep this armor on for now. We sure the hell are. We'll go back and forth, we'll combat in the other armor. Let's talk to... Let's talk to people. Volo said he'll help us and he can help us in time. We gotta read, actually. Let's we gotta read a fuck ton of stuff. Wizard of Waterdeep. Gail told us about his romance with the goddess Mistra and how his attempt to impress her... He unleashed the orb of highly volatile weave now buried within his chest. Corrupted as it has been by Nethery's magic, he's been keeping the orb stable by feeding it the weave contained in powerful items. 
amazing, you know? Bolo has decided to remain in our camp. Having such a learned scholar nearby it might be useful. See, I was thinking that Volo was about to work on us. Honestly. And I'm kind of glad that he didn't because, okay, Volo is maybe brilliant in his own way. But under pressure? I don't know, Volo. I don't know. You were having a hard time doing bardic stuff, pal. Last. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Enjoy this place. Have your research turned up anything that might help with the parasite problem? Not yet, I'm afraid. But my expectations are very, very high. Look at her armor. It looks so good. The gloves don't really match that much. And you can't even really tell about their frilly boots. They kind of just look like boots. I mean, hey. It could be better. But it could be worse. What's up, Lazelle? Speak. I love this little the bird that we got going on here. I kind of feel bad that we broke up with Lazelle runs. I do because I kind of now wish that we would have just kept going with it. Like, I just, I don't want to break anyone's heart, you know? But I also still want to learn more about these people. And we get more unique stuff if we just kept the romance stuff with these people. Instead of just limiting ourselves to Karlak and Shadowheart now. Maybe we should just go with the flow. Copper for your thoughts. But I just, I'm just not in the business of hurting people, breaking hearts, you know? I guess we'll see what happens. Hey, what's up, Shovel? See? Tell you choose, Beefy! Trust me. Always. Always! <laughs> I tell you the truth, Beefy. Who's out here? We got Shadowheart out here. We got a story in out here. To think. Will? Gales had this devastating war within himself the entire time and only just mentioned it. Who'd keep a secret like that from his friends? He can't trust anyone these days. <laughs> Easy. Astorian always has something to say. <laughs> yeah, but you kept that you were a vampire from people too, so it's kind of like the same thing. A vampire is just as dangerous as a strange orb, but the strange orb is probably more dangerous. But I'm just saying, I don't mind. It's not just something you can openly talk about right then and there. Well met. Hey, I got this orb inside of me. It might consume me and everybody else around. But just saying, I got it. It's going to let you know. Sir Gale's been walking around this whole time with some sort of magic bomb in his chest. I'm not normally one to begrudge someone their secrets, but that's something I should know. We know now. You seemed intrigued when Halsen mentioned Dark Justiciers before. Yeah, I mean, she did. Let's ask her about that. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I prayed to Lady Shah, I wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything. And I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. Yeah, but there's either two things here. She was either prepping you for something bigger, or she was trying to protect you. Do you think she'll ever relent and make you a dark justice seer? 
I wish I could say it like her. She says it so good. Just this... <laughs> a dark justice, they are. One way or the other, we're gonna say that freaking word. I don't understand. Why be so secret about such an ambition? Thank you for sharing. Well, that was a load of shit. Nothing. <laughs> I'm not sure why you bothered telling me that. You think she'll ever relent and make you a dark justicier? I think I said it right. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Yeah, but one thing I don't understand, I don't understand why be so secret about such an ambition. Thank you for sharing. The thing is, Shadowheart, how and why do you have this fucking artifact? If this artifact is shielding us against the absolute, what do you really have contained inside that artifact? Do you have Shar herself inside your fucking artifact? I mean, there's something in there that we just don't know what the hell it is, and it's something so powerful that it's stopping the absolute's cor corruption on us, basically. Whatever is in there is dark. Very dark. Because if you take the artifact and you, like, move it in your inventory, it, it has this noise. This creepy fucking noise. I don't understand. Why be so secret about such an ambition? Dark justicias are hated by many. Judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. So she forgot about the desire to become a dark justicier until she's seen things? What happens if... Okay, so you said when you were a child, right? When she was a child, she was telling us that basically, or Ari said that Salunite followers, basically, they go out on their rite of passage or whatever it is by their self, and then they come back, this, that, and the other. But when she went out on her rite of passage as a Salunite follower, that's what I'm suspecting that she was at first. At least that's probably what her family was. A real mother, father, this, that, and the other. And she got waylaid upon by that wolf and then was saved by Shar followers. And now she grew up believing nothing but Shar. And she was so young at the time that it probably didn't matter to her, you know? So it makes me wonder if she's really a, a true follower in her heart. Because we're not one to question someone's... The way their views are for religion, politics, this, that, and the other. Whatever she has going on. But it makes me wonder if you weren't influenced heavily by the dark cause of the Shar. Because Shar does seem like a pretty dark, you know, just a dark goddess, friends. She sure the fuck does. But it, it just makes me wonder if she can even, like, uh, how the Mother Superior or whatever didn't mark her as a dark justicier. She's, like, holding her for some reason. There has to be something more that she wants for Shadowheart, and don't want her to do that. Does that make sense? Thank you for sharing. Well, thank you for sharing. You and I, we share something special. Let's talk about it. Let's not. Right now, anyways. Okay, what else can we do? There was nobody else here. Everybody else was good. Where's old Withers at? Because I want to respect again. For the 75th time. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't really want to respect anything. I think we're good on that count, but I am curious to see where Withers is, because, well, this is a whole new camp. Did we get everybody, though? Yeah, I think we did. Crazy bunch of conversations. I wanted to get to... I really did. The fights, which we can. I just... Let's long rest now. I have to go back and check on Halsim. Yeah, we have to go back and check on Halsim. 
Oh, well, I did want to respect because I wanted to get out of this friends. I don't think we're ever really going to use friends. Where's the hell's friends? Friends right here. Because it says right here in higher difficulty modes, the target might accuse you of enchanting them. And this is on tactician, so that's about the highest mode we can go, right? I mean, I know honor's probably a higher than tactician, but is it really higher with the difficulty or is it just bound, you're just bound to one save? Is it exactly the same? Because, well, regardless, we're still on basically the highest difficulty and, well, we'll probably end up charming people all the time with that. I don't think we're going to use it. Plus, I really want Minor Illusion and I don't think we can change cantrips. So, eventually, we're going to have to do that, but I'm kind of scared that we'll lose this. Leviator's Love buff. Because it's, well, it was brought up that it's permanent, but I don't want to... I don't want to risk back and lose it, right? Anyways, I think we should just... Let's check on the old boy. Let's see how Scratch is doing. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Hey, Scratch. How you like my outfit? It's pretty nice, right? Man, Volo really did give us a bard outfit. How cool is that? I mean, what we can do, we can just... We can still bardic inspiration, people. We got aid now, too. Friends, that's awesome. We can hit everyone with aid. And we can buff them up with Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Let us go to sleep. I think it's time. Let's end the day. Zombie. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Rub your aching hands. Brush your fingers to your mouth. Blink away the discomfort. Let's just wipe the sweat from our brow then. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others. Then, myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. A touch of disgust? Explore Lazelle's mind. We can explore her mind. We're just exalted. Lower the blade before you do something foolish. Medicine? It's just a fever. Rest will break it. We can do medicine. Plus three for medicine. We have all types of advantage for persuasion. Surrender to Lazale. You will not become an abomination. We're gonna have her just kill us? No. I kind of want to explore her mind to see what happens, but I don't really want to use wisdom, Elithid power here. I guess we can ex ex persuade her. We're just exhausted. Lower the blade. Don't do something foolish. Fifteen. We got twenty twenty. Twenty six. Easy peasy. Bah! I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. We better take some medicine then. What the hell? It went right to... I didn't press anything, I swear. I came just in time. You are transforming. It's our guardian. That... Right?
Hello. <laughs> Hello, Guardian. This is our Guardian that we created. That's so cool. <laughs> I know your voice. I've heard it before. Who the hells are you? Back off. I have enough crowing around in my head already. Are you the evil inside my brain? The dark compulsions? I don't think she's the evil, friend. I know your voice. I heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Imagine hacking the grabby paw off? No. Take the hand offered to you. Get up on your own. Recoil from any help. I think we should take her hand. I'm feeling a bit mesmerized at the moment. <laughs> it's just so cool because that's something that we created, you know? We created the Guardians and now like, okay, I was wondering when it would like happen or come in. I figured at some point, I mean, they have us making a Guardian for some reason. Oh, this is so cool. Let's, let's give in. Let's try to be allies with her. Take the hand offered to you? Man, she looks so cool. <laughs> Let's take the hand. No, don't leave. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Okay, sure. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. You'll feel better. I promise. Oh, shit is hitting the fucking fan. So she's a dream visitor? What was she? Well, she was stopping the transformation, but did she stop it in everyone? Or just embrace your potential? Friends, what the fucking fuck is going on? <laughs> that was a lot of F words. But seriously, what in the hell? That was easy. Let me see what does happen. Embrace your potential. We were visited in our dreams by a mysterious figure who told us that our illithid parasites are special and the source of great potential. So the more we keep using this, we are... Opening up. She was telling us to embrace it, though. Should we embrace it? I've been going against it because I was scared to use it because I figured we would we would we would be giving in to the absolute by using the power. But our guardian's telling us to use it. Do we use it? Because I feel like I don't. I still don't know if I want to use it. Hey, Volo, you got stuff going on here. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Yeah. 
I had the same dream. I had a similar dream. A side effect of the tadpole? Yeah, I had the same one. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? I don't really know. Like, I want to trust her. But I also don't know if we can give it. What if she's the absolute? I think it's some kind of psionic trick. I didn't believe a word I it said. It was just a dream, nothing more. If there's some kind of power to be unlocked from our affliction, I'm willing to try it. I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. I think it's some kind of trick. Do you think it's a trick? It's not that I don't believe a word of it, because I do believe it. It was just a dream, nothing more. I would be willing to try it, but I need to think more on it. Seems risky, if you ask me. Couldn't help getting stuck with the tadpole, but taking favors from it? Spooky. You're not wrong. I don't know how I feel about it still. I don't know if I want to use it. Still, but I don't know if I want to squander it and not use it. Makes sense? Glick. I had a dream. As we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is geek deception. If the parasite can empower us, I say we should let it. We could use it. Well, I mean, we could use the edge in combat, you're right. We should ignore the dream figure at all costs. I don't know if we should ignore the dream figure. I'm not willing to ignore the dream figure. But seriously, what if this game made us make these guardians and this guardian is the ultimate bad guy? Hey, it's something to think about. It really is. So the game wants you to say, okay, so I made this guardian, right? I think we should probably trust it because, well, the game let us make it. So it's got to be a good character. That's what the game probably wants you to believe. But ultimately, the Guardian might be a bad person. And the bad guy, basically. And they're trying to make us, they're trying to break us. But why would she stop whatever she stopped? It didn't make sense. It don't make sense if she is bad. It wouldn't make sense. Right? Yeah? Does that make sense? <laughs> You're right, we should ignore. I don't think we should ignore the Dream Figure. Because if you ignore her and dismiss her now, then you're always going to ignore her and dismiss her. I don't think you should. If the parasite can empower us, I say we let it. We use it. And let's you. What if we use it against them, and then get rid of it eventually? Yeah. You're delusional. I'd sooner trust a night hag than a strange figure bearing dream gifts. Sorry. Take it easy, Lindell. Are we still friends or what? <laughs> didn't like that. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. I don't My know apologies. Huh. <laughs> Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me. Protecting me. And that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. Not entirely sure what to make of it. I don't know either. We're telling our companions to embrace the tadpole, but then again, I don't even know if I want to fully embrace it either. You don't believe this is a real person talking to you then? I had the same dream, a similar visitor with similar message. Yeah, the same. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illithid parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? Of course not. It was a dream, nothing more. I'm not sure. Such an apparition has its own motives, whatever it told us. I mean, that that's more like what I want to say. I... Wish there was an another option for Lazelle, not just we should embrace a tadpole or we should just ignore it. I don't want to ignore the vis the visitor completely. I think that would be foolish just just to ignore the visitor. It would be foolish to ignore it, but it's also foolish to just jump right into it. I kind of want to be neutral about it right now, so I kind of wish she had another option. It's unfortunate that she didn't have another option, 
So he's got, of course not, it was just a dream. I am. Something is delaying our transformation. Why not this vision dream visitor of ours? I get that. I'm not sure. I mean, you think the dream visitor is delaying it? I'm not sure. Such so has its own motives, whatever it told us. Yeah, sure. Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. Our visitors' promises of aid might yet bear valuable fruit. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay. I kind of wanted to say that to Lazelle. I didn't want to, like, give in to the tadpole and go against it completely. I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Sure the fog did. Stay silent, I did. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. We should take any advantage we can get. Let's explore these powers and see where they take us. I don't trust it. We should avoid using the powers. Damn it. See, like, I don't know what I want to do. It's hard to say here. I need. To, I just want to think on it, you know? We could just avoid using the powers. Maybe we should keep it as an option. Because if you think about it, we still have to pick the option to use it, right? We can tell their companions that... Because I want to keep the option open. And if... If you're going to tell them that we can explore it at least, that's at least keeping it open and saying that we don't trust it, that's not. I don't really trust it and I don't not trust it at the same time. Like, I want to trust the Guardian and I want to use the powers, but I don't want it to consume us. Is it going to consume us, I'd imagine, if we keep using it? It's like we're empowering it then. Maybe that's what it wants us to do. Maybe that's how it... Maybe us using the powers is what is going to empower the tadpole in us to where the absolute can take over us because the artifact is shielding us right now. Makes sense. I say let's explore them, but maybe be safe about it. Exactly. Waste not, want not. Even when it comes to mind flare parasites. Now, was there anything else? Nope. Take care. Have a good day. Maybe we should just be careful with it at least. I had a dream last night, a vivid one, and so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by elithid worms. We don't know. I think we should hear out the dream figure. Maybe these powers could be useful. We should have as little to do with these tadpoles as we can. Maybe we should at least hear her out. I just want to hear her out. I want to see more of what's going to happen here. There has to be a reason behind it all. Well, I wouldn't advise it. Play with fire and you get burned. That's always the way of it. I think he would understand that. He really would. Chatter. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Yeah, it happened to you as well, maybe. Sure did. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. You and I, we share something special. We sure do. <laughs> Take it easy, Shadowheart. I don't know what to think. I kind of really just don't know what to think at all. It's interesting, that's for sure. What is a hole? I just don't know. Ah, my good fellow. 
quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Has your research turned up anything that might help with the parasite problem? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. I, I don't think so. Uh... Do it. How many times have you done this before? This parasite is unusual. I have it on good authority that extraction is currently impossible. I'd rather get a second opinion. Do it. Yeah, the parasite is unusual. I have it on good authority that it's currently impossible to you do. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Let's... I, I don't want you sticking that big thing in my eye. Or whatever you... Plan on sticking it. I can imagine it's probably the eye. I don't think it's the mouth. Leave. Let's not do it. I don't want you to do it, Volo. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Can we still get him to do it? Ah, my good. F Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. We can do it again, probably. Let's leave. I don't know if I want you to do that, Volo. <laughs> you think he's actually going to get it out? I'd imagine that if he's sticking something, he said it's right behind the eye, pretty much. So, you think he's going to take that big old utensil and actually get it in there and take it out? I just don't really think so. Did we use up supplies? I don't even think we use supplies. I just, I don't think we did. Can I give us, can I change our abilities? No. Does she have a long strider? No. Let me get Gale in the party. I'm going to keep the same party here. I'm going to get Gale in the party and give everyone long strider before we head back out. I don't think we're going to be able to get the whole thing done, but. Hey, soldier. We can at least. Really? Uh we can at least. Try to deal with Minthora's situation. What's on your mind? And plus, Where? I really need to check on Halsen and see if he's even still alive. Oh, Gale hasn't. Hasn't. We'll do it. We'll upgrade him next episode with the rest of the people because I want to get to combat. So let me just long stride, people. Everyone is buffed up and good to go. Check this out. Watch Ori. Right. Watch how cool this is. Look at him. <laughs> So fucking cool. Let us roll. You know what, though? You ever wonder that if we're talking about these powers and such, right? You ever wonder the best way to defeat something is to use their own stuff against them? Right? I mean, these mind flayers are so powerful, so advanced. They're doing this mind fucking parasite thing right but what if we use it against them it's like something they wouldn't expect what if you can harness it and use it just against them for the better it's something to consider but then again i don't really want to give into it all i just don't hey look everyone's still up and about doing their thing wait how do i do okay are we just gonna bum rush I'd imagine that if something was wrong with Halsen, we would have got pinged in the journal. I, I don't think... I'm sure he's fine. Well, we can go check on him. You want to go check on Halsing? They should all be running. Oh, wait, there's a ladder right here. Let's go check on Halsing. You know what? If we go ahead and rouse up Minthora over there, which that's what we're going to do. I don't think 
we're not going to be able to not rouse up them people. Hey, Halls, and you good in here, or...? Yeah, it looks like he's good. The kids are gone. Everyone's gone that we knocked out. Hell, I guess we should have just killed people. Well, not the kids, of course. This person's here, and this person's here. Halsen, you good, or how are you? The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. Leave. You're not coming with me yet. I'll come back down in here, Halsen. But for now, you're just going chill. Stay down here with the corpses and all the other stuff. Let me use the Bardic Inspiration. Let's see what happens. Use it on Shadowheart. Oh, it just gives it to us. This lasts until long rest, and it gives them... Can use Bardic Inspiration to add a 1d8 bonus to the next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. The next. It's a one and done thing, then. Let's just buff everyone up with it. What about ourself? Can we buff ourself? Can't target self. Here, shovel, have this. So that was four. See, look, now we can't use any of these. We're completely done. Bardic Inspiration, you can't use it anymore. You can use four turns of it. Now we're going to have the short rest. I guess we'll do Song of Rest. Ah, I put the wind back in my sails. Oh, she has temporary hit points because of the heal. And now we can do this again. And they still have the Bardic Inspiration. That that works because, I mean, this, it, this is a free... It's literally a free short rest anyway. And we have two here, and it's never, like... It's not too bad to where we need to fucking... We have to... Let's do aid. Yes. Did I get everybody with that, or... Was it just already that got hit with that? Heal yourself. And increase your hit point maximum. Oh, it was just already. How come her aid is AoE? Her aid is AoE. Damn, we could have fucked to live in more interesting times. So our aid is heal yourself and increase your hit points. Oh. Sure. Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Just learning, learning how it works here. Learning the ropes. Forty-three health's pretty damn good for a bard, huh? It's not bad. All right, well, let's head over and deal with this situation over here. What? Leave me alone! We're gonna have to just figure this out. I think. What, we what we're gonna for? do? Spears are sharp. Well, eyes are all riled up and ready. You have already failed. We're gonna take this thing out first. We have to, because if it's to question me. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. Honest I didn't. Astorian. I wanna put you End the matter to save the former. All the way over here, friend. Actually, I'm gonna put you up here. We used a lot of stuff there. And then let's cunning hide for him. Let's keep to the shadows. Not gonna work. That's fine. I mean, we're gonna be seen anyway. What a charmer. Karlak, I'm gonna have you just take this fucking thing. I got a disadvantage. Death. Throw it right to its death. Throw it right down this hole. See what happens. <gasps> Our Bardic Inspiration's done. Did we take it out? Possibly? I guess from this point now, we'll take Karlak and run her over here. Or... If you insist. Put Karlak here. Okay. 
Whatever comes. Shadow Heart, I want you right here. I want to get everyone off this bridge. I don't want them to just take this bridge out. If you think about it, though, if other people are roused, let's get this spiritual weapon out. Okay. Nothing hurts. Get on Ori. Let's take Connor's ass. Put him. I have a feeling these people are gonna come up. Can't put him over there. Put Connor right here. And then shovel. I want you over here as well. And then Ari. See, Ari can go back here. We can have Ari wreaking havoc on all these people. To be fair, Shadowheart and Ari should have went over here. No. Hmm. With haste. We'll go here. Well, friends, I guess it's it's worth a shot. Let's see. Carlac. Attitude towards Carlac. Temporary hostile. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the minus attitude towards Carlac? Was that Minthar or was that this guy? Alright, so now we take out this war drum here. Let's hit it with a ranged attack. War drum is done. Astarian can't do anything else. Which is fine. We will do cunning dash on the way. Over here. I kind of want to go and bite this guy with a Starion, but I'm scared to get too close. I guess we can Cunning Dash again. No, because I want to... I don't want to do that with a Starion yet. Let's just take him over here. It's a little bit farther over here. Because I have an idea. Can I use Shadowheart? We're in Shadowheart's turn. Oh, they're going to be moving. That's not going to... That's not gonna work. Damn it. I wanted to throw a fireball with Shadowheart over here because 27. I don't think she'll hit for 27. She probably won't. She ain't gonna hit for 52. I'm gonna hit them with a fireball first before we knock them out. We still have the knockout on. We're gonna keep the knockout on at least until Minthor is knocked out and then the rest of them, I guess we can just kill him. What does it matter? Time for a cut. Whose turn is it? It's Shovel's turn. Well, let's go and whoop this guy up, Shovel. And then... Okay. That works. Hey, man. Beating Connor's ass, are you? Let's hit Desonant Whispers on 30% chance on Minthara. 55% chance on this one. Let's hit it on this guy. He saved it, which is fine. Nope. Biggie, no biggie. Offhand attack. Let's use it on... Menthara. Oof. Good hit, Ari. So the Bardic Inspiration only works for one hit. We should save it. Like, I think we should just save it. I think that'd just be a better idea. Getting Ari over here wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Breathe deep. No, so we should get a little distance over here, possibly. I really want to chuck a fucking fireball in that with Shadowheart. Ooh, that was really good. Carla or yeah, Carlac. Soul branding. Alright, well we're not gonna be able to chuck a fireball. No, we're gonna blow up the whole fucking team. What we can do is We'll jump in. With Shadow Heart. Hopefully, don't use up everything. And then we'll use Radiance of Dawn. The sun's divine power dispels any magical darkness. Wait, what? Doesn't affect creatures that have total cover from you? But it does 5 to 25. The sun's divine power dispels any magical darkness. It dispels the darkness, but it also does damage to people in the area. Is this guy going to die if I do this? That's 
that works. I mean, hey, that's pretty damn good, Shadowheart. Gods, it's hot in here. Gods, it's hot in here. <laughs> Cartilag, I'm just gonna have you beat the holy hell out of her. Oh, you can't do anything. What'd you dare? That was two really good misses, basically. One damage. That's nothing. Or we have these other ones. Well, what we can do with Shadow Heart is blow them the hell up with a fireball. I think as long as it's not children, I'm okay with just killing them. Look, there's more coming in from out there. Hey man, don't be messing with Connor. Connor done soaked up enough damage. Damn, not a good thing, sword. Astorian. What we can do, sneak attack her with range. 15, that's really good, Astorian. Stunning dash. On my way. I don't really want to, I don't want to kill her with ranged. I don't think we can, first of all. Should we bite her? Let's bite him. Ooh, there you go, Astarian. Good to go. Shovel. Seven. He just has one, and then he's done. I mean, we can just hit him with shovel again and kill him, probably. I mean, what do you think you're doing? Oh, hell, what a hit. That was a really fucking good hit. Well, on this guy, I think we should... Attack up the two enemies. Oh, we're not gonna get that. I guess what we can do is we can disengage, right? <laughs> Let's go right here. Ah, fuck, it took up a turn, man. It took up an action. That's right, it's not, it's not a bonus action. I was thinking it was a bonus. Damn it, that was really unfortunate. Offhand attack on Mithara. <laughs> that works. Damn, that was a big ass heal. Holy hell. Let's throw a fireball at this guy. See ya. Shadow Heart just one shot that motherfucker with a fireball. Hit him for the third. Damn, the fireball goes up to 48 damage. We should have saved that fireball for these people because they're probably going to cluster up here. Oh, that was so stupid. Damn it, that was so dumb. Let's heal Ori. Friends, that was so incredibly dumb. Heating up. We should have saved it. <laughs> Ten. Let's keep whooping her ass, Karlak. That won't work. Tenacity. Well, we at least hit her for three with tenacity. That works. What I can do? No, because if I jump, then it's going to hit everyone. Damn, you ain't doing nothing. Damn, because they're going to huddle there now. Son of a bitch. Not good. That fireball would have took them all out. Three, you're talking three kills for Shadowheart, probably. Yeah, they got 15 health. Son of a bitch. You're not really hitting Minthor, that sword. Astorian. He's dead. <laughs> we didn't need to use the bow. I didn't want to knock him out, though. I just want to knock her out. Let's offhand the warg. Sneak attack him? Oh, I think he sneak attack him too. What we can do is disengage to yes. about right here. And then start taking people out with bows. Ooh, critical miss. <laughs> I hope Karlak or Karlak. <laughs> Should we hit her with vicious mockery? 
How about defensive flourish? I think that might be better for now. Again. Again? Did she say that or did Ori say that? Ugh. It's so unfortunate to miss. Damn, friends. How many heals do you got, man? You're kind of a beast. Oh, fireball. Time to end it all up here. How you guys doing up here? Eth is interrupted. <laughs> that heart's fucking nasty. <laughs> She's absolutely fucking nasty, friends. <laughs> Don't even need heals. All right, Karlak, it's go time. All right, Karlak, whoop her ass. <laughs> Got her though. Try it again. <laughs> Oof! You really give it to Mithara, Karlak. You really the hell are. <laughs> Sentinel. <laughs> oh, so good. Killing all these people. It's still showing up as temporary hostile. That's their greatsword. This tempor what does temporary hostile mean? I mean, I know what it means, obviously. Wait. Critical miss. It's not letting me examine her. But hold on here. Let me see what temporary hostile means. If you knock out this Etni or flee from combat, it may harbor some resentment towards you, but will remain hostile. But will not remain hostile. Okay. So if we knock her out, she won't remain hostile. It doesn't matter. Because it's it's temporary right now. That makes sense. I was wondering if killing these people makes it to where it's, uh, you know. I guess we'll just pop a shot off at this person over here. Sure. See ya. Oh, the warg's gone now, too. It's just her and this scrut. Well, let us dash to around race. Oh, I'm in Thor, no. Oh, that was close. We stopped at the last second. Get him a little closer, because I want to take this one out. I guess we'll hit Minthora. <laughs> Sneak attack, sure. Man, she's almost fucking done. Ten. We'll get you on Shrut. No. Hey man, you killed Shovel! Now you're fucking done. I'm thinking about knocking him down the hole, but damn, now we can't look, there's the fucking lens. <laughs> we can't loot it now, no. Shit. Damn it. Should we get Connor's dead ass out? I don't think we should. Let's hit him with whispers. How you like that? We should use vicious mockery. That's fine. We'll use all fan attack now. Six. Hey, anything's anything. Something. Oh, you holding. Carlac was amazing for you. Because now. I guess we just have the basic attack for the others. Try something else. Who keeps saying that? It sounds like Lazale. Are you here, Lazale? In your own way, somehow? Try something else, she said. I don't know if I want to hit with this blade. Yeah. Okay, good. It wasted, it wasted her soul branding, good. Let's keep doing that then. Let's do a sneak attack with a Starium. Goodbye. She is completely knocked out. Good. Now we can work on this guy. <laughs> what if he just picked up a Starium and threw him off the side? How crazy would that be? <laughs> Does it matter anymore? I guess we'll keep... We can turn it off now, the passives. We'll turn it off now. She's already knocked out. What does it matter? Let's just... We get XP for knocking them out anyway, correct? Yeah. At least that's what it seems like. 
That was a good ass hit, man. I want to use my flourishes. But let's vicious mockery his ass. <laughs> Ari's just hitting with his all fan. He's not really hitting with anything. He wasn't hitting with his bardic flourish stuff. And these two really hasn't done much. Can't give up. Either. You're having a bad turn of it, Ari. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. Ha! True strike, miss. Damn. That's unfortunate. Oh my word. I mean, we're gonna get him. It's a matter of time, really. Carlax gonna get him right here. Don't react. Anyone else coming in to fight us? I don't think they are. Moving in. Well, that went really good. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. That went really, really good. All right, what now? Let's go around and loot some of these corpses. We're just gonna send this crap at camp. Send this to a story, I guess. Sure. I guess we missed out on. Well, no, we didn't miss out because the people that we knocked out. The people we. Oh, it's. stealing. That's a friendly looking shadow. Let's see what you're hiding. It's saying stealing. Let's send this to Camp. Breathe sure. deep. Move. Where, where are you going, sir? Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It's still steal. It's still. It's considered stealing because we have people left still. Send the camp. Send to Astarian. All right, let's. I can't believe we didn't rouse anybody else. They're still over here. He's still up on the fucking thing, doing his thing. Well, that went pretty damn good, friends. Night Warden Minthora. Wish we can get that. We can't reach it. There's like no way to reach it now. Send a camp. Send a camp. Never this guy dead over here. Path. She's gonna have. She's gonna wake up and have all these corpses around her. <laughs> And she's not gonna have anything to show for it. Wait, we got boots here. The water... Sparkers, electrifying wave? When the wearer stands in water during combat, it becomes electrified. Water sparks? If the wearer starts their turn on an electrified surface, they gain three electric charges? Holy hell. Three lightning charges. Lightning courses through you, you have a plus one to attack rolls and deal an additional one lightning damage. If you gain five charges, they're consumed on the next. It's the same thing as that, as that weapon that we already got, which is good. So we should give that to... Let's work on... Maybe Will. Because Will doesn't really have any... Scroll of Blur. Oh, we just stole the war map. That works. I'm saving her for the last, by the way. Let's see what she's got on her. I'm stealing everything else. <laughs> What's this shield? Let me see what the shield is. Oh. Armor class 2. Let's send this to camp, then. Seems like a pretty basic shield. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what this Minthora has on her now. <laughs> we done killed everyone else and knocked her out. She's literally going to wake up to a bunch of corpses. Alchemy pouch. I don't 
don't know how to say that word. Zen Zenandi? Zenandi's fire. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in fairy fire for two turns. If you miss an attack against it. If you miss an attack against it. What does fairy fire do again? Shredding dim light. Incoming attacks have advantage. Cannot be invisible. But what is this? It's a mace. It's just a mace. And then she had oh this armor. Look at this armor. What is it? It's a rare light armor. Stealthy gain, plus one bonus to stealth checks, advantage on constitution saving throws. It's a light armor though. That's so good. And Menthara's underwear. Equipped by Night Warden Menthara. Woven with as much toughened cobweb as claw. <laughs> the the word cobweb, right? You figure that if <laughs> if someone's using the word cobwebs for like say you're <laughs> Cobwebs form after so long of not, there's nothing being there, nothing, like, it's basically saying it doesn't ever be used, in a sense. <laughs> Boots of striding, focus stride, when you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum for one turn. When you're concentrating, you can't get knocked prone or be moved against your will. That seems so good for probably Shadowheart, I'd imagine. This is just drow gloves. Spider's Lyre. Play the Spider's Lyre? It's a... We have Lahala's loot, though, on us. And now we have Minthora's. We're stealing Minthora's stuff. Why does she have camp supplies on her? I mean, that works. Tasteful boots. Made his tough, well-worn leather. These boots have survived years of use and can be... Survive many more. Oh, and can survive many more. Well, hell, I guess we might as well just take it off. Holy hell, she's butt-ass naked. <laughs> she is absolutely naked naked. <laughs> Fuck! We probably should have left her underwear on her. She has a camp supply pack. What is going on here? She has a can- is Minthara can be a companion, probably? Is that what's going on here? Because she has all this- she has at ease clothes, like our companions do, like our regular people. None of the other people that we've ever looted has had stuff like this. Minthara can be a companion. Holy hell. Now she's butt-ass fucking naked. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Alright, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to- Let's stop focusing on Menthara. I know it's nice, but let's stop. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. So, well, I guess the game just pretty much give it, gave it away with looting Menthara. That I'd imagine, though, that if she was a companion, we'd probably have to have went down to her path, right? I mean, the game's this basically. She's got a, a camp supply pack. Unless they're just given to us. I don't imagine, like... Menthara's at ease clothes. Every companion has it. Like, this is, that's just, I guess it's a crazy way to figure it out. I don't, so if she can become a companion, I don't really want to, like, I don't want to steal her underwear and stuff. I mean, we can't do nothing about it now. We have her fucking underwear in here. I guess I should have individually picked it out, but how the hell would I have fucking known that she can possibly become a companion? Though, if she can become a companion, it would probably be on the path of what she was wanting us to do, as in taking out the goblin camp but still regardless i'm happy we knocked her out now though i'm not a, a well i'm not really thrilled that we took her <laughs> underpants off of her and she's naked but still <laughs> we got some armor now what happens though like i don't want to i don't even want to give anybody this stuff now because if she does become a companion or ken i don't think it's meant for us though it's I don't. I don't even know what to say, though. I'm. I'm like. I'm. I'm kind of confused a bit, but also I. I kind of don't. I don't really understand. So if this stuff right here is leading that Menthora actively is her companion, then we would 
had to take a different path, though. We probably would have had to do something for her and recruited her that way, I'd imagine. So that's really cool is that the game is pretty much acknowledging, or I'm just, oh, I'm just completely dumb and thinking that she can be one, and I'm completely dumb right now, and she possibly probably isn't. But the thing is, if that's the case, then the game is very sneaky because all the people that we've seen in the regular title screen that we could have picked origin-wise aren't the only companions in this game. There might be more. That's just crazy. What would you even call them, then? So, uh, they're origin companions and non-origin companions? Oh, that's so cool, man. That's so cool, but, like... I'm just happy that we knocked her out now. Now I feel... <laughs> I feel a bit more better about things <laughs> because she did really seem interesting and I would have loved to talk to her more though I don't really want to go and side with her and kill all the tieflings and the camp and she wants the art artifact too but that could make things really fucking interesting honestly anyways next episode whoa well we're gonna take out Drow Ragzin and then I guess this area is done I mean, it is what it is, but if you think about it, it don't matter now. I'm just like, I was looking at this pack and I was kind of getting excited because I wouldn't have minded to have her as a companion. Maybe like her conversations would have been so interesting because she was such a strong and like really straightforward, blunt type of person, pretty severe type of person. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have mind if she would have been part of the crew, but I don't think it's, I can imagine it, it's not going to be a thing now because we don't took a different path. But for another playthrough, that would be so cool. And uh, just, just see what happens. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a go and stay safe. See you next time. Take care.